the mini black holes that the Large Hadron Collider may produce will last an instant before disappearing. And if successful, the experiment may also reveal secrets about another puzzling phenomenon in the universe, a matter that's completely invisible. To find this phantom matter, scientists had to look no further than our own galactic neighborhood, the Milky Way. Strange as it may seem, planets, stars, moons, and galaxies make up less than 20% of all matter in the universe. The rest is made up of dark matter, a form of matter we can't see, but exists everywhere. Dark matter was first inferred in the early 1930s, but very few scientists bought the concept at the time. But in the past two decades, the evidence for this invisible phenomenon has become overwhelming. As people began to map the Milky Way galaxy, they noticed that the stars at the very edge were moving so fast, they should have actually flown off the galaxy. But they're not. They're, they're being held together by something invisible, something that's adding more attractive force to the galaxy, more gravity. But we have no idea what this could be. It's kind of strange that a lot of the universe we can't even see. We detect dark matter because it interacts gravitationally with mass that we do see. Galaxies spin faster than they should, counting up the amount of gravity that you can see from the matter they have. And if that gravitational attraction weren't there, the hot gas would disperse. So we know there's more gravity than we can account for by the mass that we see. And that is just simply called dark matter. One method to measure dark matter is to look at hot X-ray emitting gas and how it's contained by the gravity present in it. Another way is to look at something called gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing is caused when we see a very distant galaxy behind a foreground galaxy. And the light from the distant one is bent as it goes around the nearer galaxy. That's kind of an odd idea, light actually bending in a lens that's really just formed by space itself. Gravity makes that distortion in space. So we noticed there were these gravitationally distorted galaxies that we could see. And when we estimated what the mass in the center should have been to make those distortions, it was gigantic, 10 times more than the mass we saw there. So we were observing a collection of dark matter. Dark matter may constitute most of the mass in space, but the majority of energy in the universe comes from yet another invisible phenomenon called dark energy. It's a theoretical form of energy that exists everywhere and accounts for 70% of all mass and energy in the universe. Probably the weirdest thing being that it's the least understood thing in the universe is the stuff called dark energy. Dark energy, for example, doesn't really have all that much to do with dark matter. They're different things. The dark really means we just don't know what's going on. Dark energy was first observed in 1998 when measurements of faraway exploding stars were used to determine the distances of galaxies. Those galaxies were found to be farther away than expected in a universe that's slowing down with time. The astronomers thus concluded that the universe is actually expanding more quickly with time, and dark energy may be the culprit. The universe is filled with this repulsive dark energy. It's really weird stuff that's causing the expansion of the universe to speed up with time, to accelerate. So it's going whoosh like that, you know, faster and faster. And that was really weird when it was found. You know, it was not anticipated. It appears, at least to us at this time, that even more of the universe is made up of dark energy which is some substance, it's dark, it doesn't shine, we can't see it, but it acts to speed up the expansion of the universe. It's sort of an anti-gravity. Normal matter and energy tend to slow down the rate at which things are going away from each other because normal things pull on one another gravitationally. But dark energy appears to accelerate the rate at which objects pull away from each other. 
One theory suggests that dark energy will accelerate the expansion of space to such an extent that the entire universe will be ripped to shreds in about 50 billion years. If that's the case, then eventually, not only will clusters of galaxies be ripped apart from one another, and then galaxies themselves will get ripped apart as the stars zip away from one another. And then solar systems, planetary systems will get ripped apart. And then later on, even planets will get ripped apart and humans will get ripped apart. And finally, even atoms and subatomic particles will get ripped apart. The universe is full of odd and interesting things. But the most peculiar thing in the universe may exist in our own backyard. By far and away, the strangest thing, in my opinion, in the universe is Earth. <laughs> and I live here, and I know something about it. What a crazy place this is, a rocky planet near a star with all this green stuff that takes sunlight and turns it into food. That's strange, but, uh, uh, you know, to others, there's nothing particularly peculiar because it's home. I'd say the strangest things in outer space are human beings. We're definitely unusual, and we haven't found any other beings like us yet in the universe, although that's not to say that they aren't out there. But uh, we're pretty strange. 